I'm Alexander Hilbron. We are in the Tribute Media Lounge, and we are talking to the director and star of A Hyena Road, Paul Gross. Welcome, oh. Paul. Thanks for joining us today. Well, thank you for having me. There's definitely no stereotyping your movies. Where do you come up with this stuff? Well, I think you know, Passchendaele was something that I really wanted to do for a long time. I was interested in the First World War because of my grandfather, and that had started with stories that he had told me when I was in my well, kind of really for as long as I remember growing up, but never the, the, the stories about bad things, but it was like funny things about the First World War, and where the best beer was and that kind of thing. But I'd lived with that for a very long time. Men with Brooms, I can't remember why. Somebody had asked me, oh, I know it was Robert Lantos who talked about maybe doing a hockey thing, and I said, I don't, I don't know, you can't do hockey in Canada, it's political somehow, so. And I think the Olympics were on, and I was watching the curling, and I thought, oh my God, that would be a good, that would be fun. So I started thinking about that. Hyena Road, though, was quite a bit different because I'd gotten to know um, a lot of the senior officers in the Canadian Forces doing Passchendaele because we had Canadian Forces soldiers in it playing soldiers. And I'd been invited to go to visit the troops in Afghanistan. I had no idea what it was like. I'm not even sure what I expected, but whatever I kind of felt about it was not what I encountered. It was a vastly much more complicated place, a very chaotic and lethal and, and sort of a, a strange world with a kind of brutal poetry. And I thought I should at least try to photograph it. And so I went back a year later with a camera team. We spent about two weeks way outside the wire at a forward operating base in Panjwe and uh, just photograph things and talk to soldiers and they were extraordinarily generous and honest and I started to think yeah they probably there is a film in here somehow and I thought this is something that I knew nothing about and I as a result knew nothing about the, the deep human costs that are exacted upon the soldiers that we dispatch to fight these wars and the knock-on effect that that has obviously with operational stress injuries not to mention physical injuries and and I thought maybe it might help if we knew a little bit more about this. And let's talk about the cast because they were all absolutely fantastic. Aren't they wonderful? They I are, mean, yeah. absolutely. How did you come to choose them? I've always felt that Christine Horner is underutilized in Canada. The plays uh, Jennifer. She's just wonderful. She's beautiful and she's an actress of great depth, but but not used enough. And I've always kind of had her in my head because I knew that she could carry on her shoulders the emotional weight of the film, which I think she does with, with grace. The most surprising piece, I think, was Rossif Sutherland, who, I, you know, he's just an absolutely beautiful man, and I love him. And Rossif came in to meet with me, and we talked for a while, and we read a bit of the script, and it was just, I was, remember watching him thinking, oh, that's it. That's what this script was missing, is that he brought in this poetry and this, sort of sensitivity to the part, and I realized that I just have to flip it, that I will take over the, my character will take over the sort of black and white, real politic, hardcore stuff. And the sniper, who performs a, generally we would consider a pretty lethal occupation, um, is the one who is more thoughtful. When we were doing a screening for some soldiers in Kingston, and I was watching, and I thought, God, that's just fascinating, actually. There's some weird dynamic between these two, and that was everything to do with just Rossif. It wasn't in my head at all. So casting's a bit enigmatic, but thank God he showed up, because I think he's just beautiful. And the other character in it is uh, the ghost, based on a real guy who I met in Afghanistan, and it's played by Nimat Argandabi, who is... He's not an actor. He's, he was a guy who worked with us, with the coalition forces in, in Afghanistan. He's from Kandahar. I mean, he's been in more bombings that he's survived. And that was my big fear, selfishly. I said when he, <laughs> we were going, we were finished in uh, Shiloh and we were going to move to Jordan. I said, Can you just, do you have to go back to Afghanistan? He said, yes, Afghanistan is like a horrible wife that you have to go home to. I said, well, just keep your head down because you can't get killed. Then he shows up in Jordan, I said, oh great, you didn't get killed. <laughs> yes, that is an exciting thing. <laughs> thank you so much for talking to us today, Paul, about your incredible film, Hyena Road. Well, thank you.